I know I'm not going to be consistent about this thing, but I decided to review Naruto Manga Chapter 683. I had the same dream as you, the same in the chapter. And a lot of people are annoyed by the fact that this is yet again another uneventful chapter. To summarize the events, basically what had happened is, based on the previous chapter, Naruto's plan to defeat Kaguya failed, and Sasuke ended up being thrust into another dimension by a desert-like dimension. A black uh, Zetsu, black Zetsu. Interestingly enough, uh, Naruto ended up getting caught by one of the Zetsus, or the environment he was thrust into. The world that ended up attacking him. So, both Naruto and Sasuke are being attacked by the environment now. Not by Kaguya or Black Zetsu. So that's kind of interesting. Because Kaguya has the ability to throw people into different dimensions. And these are really powerful, really vivid dimensions, unlike Kakashi or Obito, Obito who throw you into like whack dimensions. Obito is awake again. He seriously has. Hey, did you guys beat Madara yet? That doesn't happen. <laughs> they, they tell him, Alright, we're gonna tell you everything that's happened on our way... ...to our destination. They tell him everything and he says that he needs a lot of chakras so he can go to that dimension and save Sasuke. And everyone there is prepared to die. Not necessarily that they're going to die, but... That they're prepared for it, especially Obito. He straight up tells you that. And the plot also, like, in a novel like way. Like when there's a bit of a novel trick going on where plot A is happening and plot B is happening, and they're going to meet at point C. The fourth Hokage, Minacho, meets up with the other dead guys, and they're all looking at Madara's corpse, thinking, what's happening right now? The eternal Tsuki Yomi has affected everyone, but Madara is dead, so what's happened? And one of them has a bright idea, I think it's the straight haired guy, the Senju guy. Hey, we should resurrect the lore. Madara and ask him what happened. <laughs> I think that's funny. We're gonna need a sacrifice and I think Minacho says we're not gonna have another sacrifice. That's not going to happen. No more of that. But yeah, sooner or later they're gonna resurrect Madara and they're gonna ask him what happened. <laughs> it's interesting because he was supposed to be the final boss. And essentially he's the last swerve. A lot of people are saying, well, does it mean that they had to change it to a different final villain because they had no chance against Madara? They were destroying Madara towards the end. Madara had no chance. Kaguya, even she's struggling at the moment. So it's safe to say that, no. Besides, Madara was taken aback by Black Zetsu and he turned into Kaguya so how does he stand a, how is he going to defeat Naruto and Sasuke when he can't even defeat Kaguya and Kaguya is having trouble with the both of them and he, it makes no sense and then again this is Naruto and it's not necessarily who's better than the other, it's 
who has the best technique and style and versatility needed to take on the other person. So it's not completely black and white. But yeah, this was pretty much an uneventful chapter because nothing really happened. Things are being hinted that they're going to happen. But it's almost as worthless as the previous chapter, except the previous chapter was comic relief. Since there's a reverse harem, no jutsu. Well, if you're this annoyed by the series, I suggest you read it like a sign-in, because you're not going to get eventful chapters that are 18 to 20 pages long. It's a shonen. It's marketed for little kids. It's supposed to brainwash you by making these short-ass chapters where nothing happens, yet suspense is being built. So if you want to get a little, um, read it like a sign-in. Meaning, don't read the chapters weekly, read them monthly. Read like four 80 page total chapters. 80 pages worth of reading. And you're going to be satisfied because in four chapters, even in Naruto, something is going to happen. So that's the strategy I recommend. I don't really do it, but I read the chapters weekly and I don't complain about it. I've been hooked in the, with the series. I'm committed to reaching the end. And unlike those cursed One Piece fans, I don't have to worry about the fact that my series is going to take another decade to be over and done with. Hard times are going to come to pass. They're going to be over. Sooner or later, I will be free from the curse of being a Naruto follower. I'm not even saying fan anymore, but I'm not going to say it's completely trash. Anyways, Mr. Rock 7. Third video in a row, I'm still going to use the catchphrase. Fucking, I'm not going to hit you with this suck my dick. I'm going to say something else. Respect the king.